We have all heard of cancer and its ability to take away human life. But what exactly is cancer? In this video, you will learn what cancers are and their basic classification. As defined by the NHS, cancer is a condition where cells in a specific part of the body grow and reproduce uncontrollably. These cells can invade surrounding healthy tissue and sometimes spread to other areas, a process known as metastasis. It is important to know about cancer because it is a major disease of the human body. Approximately 1 in 2 people will develop some form of cancer during their lifetime. And according to the World Health Organization, cancer is the second leading cause of death globally, killing approximately 9.6 million people in 2018. The medical term for cancer is a malignant neoplasm, or malignant tumor. So, um, a neoplasia refers to the uncontrolled abnormal growth of cells or tissues in the body. And the abnormal growth itself is called a neoplasm, or a tumor. It is important to differentiate between a benign tumor and a malignant tumor, uh, as they present very different prognosis. So, in a benign tumor, the cells tend not to spread and usually grow slowly. The tumor doesn't invade nearby tissue and doesn't metastasize. The tumor also tends to have clear boundaries under a microscope, um, and the cell shape, chromosomes, and DNA generally appear normal. Benign tumors may not require treatment, and if removed, they are unlikely to return. In malignant tumors, or cancers, cells tend to spread and grow rapidly, often invading surrounding healthy tissue, and they can metastasize through the bloodstream, the lymphatic system, or through direct contact with nearby tissue. Under a microscope, cells have abnormal chromosomes and DNA, and these cells often present with a dark, uh, large nucleus and may have an abnormal shape. Once removed, cancers may reappear even in areas other than the original site. Cancers are often classified by the type of tissue in which the cancer originates and by their primary site. So, according to the National Cancer Institute, a cancer of epithelial origin is termed a carcinoma. Carcinomas are divided into two major subtypes, uh, which are adenocarcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. Adenocarcinomas are cancers of epithelial origin that originate in an organ or gland. And squamous cell carcinomas are cancers that originate in squamous epithelium. A cancer of mesenchymal uh, origin, such as bone, cartilage, fat, uh, is termed a sarcoma. An example of a sarcoma would be osteosarcoma, or cancer of the bone. Next, we have myelomas, also called multiple myelomas, which are cancers that originate in the plasma cells of the bone marrow. There are two main types of myelomas, hyperdiploid, and hypodiploid. In hyperdiploid myelomas, cells have more chromosomes than normal, and this type is less aggressive. And in hypodiploid myelomas, cells have fewer chromosomes than normal, and is more aggressive. Next we have leukemias, uh, also known as blood cancers. Leukemia means white blood, and these are cancers of white blood cells, but they may also affect red blood cells. An example of leukemia would be lymphocytic leukemia, or malignancy of the lymphoid and lymphocytic blood cell series. Next, we have lymphomas, which are cancers of the glands or nodes of the lymphatic system. However, lymphomas may also occur in organs like the stomach, breast, or the brain. These are termed extranodal lymphomas. Um, lymphomas are classified into Hodgkin lymphomas and non-Hodgkin lymphomas. The presence of Reed-Sternberg cells is what differentiates a Hodgkin lymphoma from a non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Reed-Sternberg cells are giant abnormal lymphocytes that may contain more than one nucleus. Finally, we have mixed types of cancers, 
um, these fit into two categories. So, for example, you may have an adenosquamous carcinoma, um, carcinosarcoma, or um, teratocarcinoma, which is a germ cell cancer. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.